guys, welcome back to the Most of Knowledge, and this is Shama here, ready to give you another topic on Python. And again, this time we are going to uh, find the factorial, and the factorial program is something really simple. Um, over here, I'll just show you what actually factorial means. For example, if we are taking four's factorial, then it is equal to. 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 and the answer is 24 so 24 is the factorial of 4 so this time we're asking the computer to give us for the computer to give us we are going to use the python programming so let's start off here i'm going to write n and which is equal to integer and then we write input so this process actually means n um, you can give us a number or just the number you give. It just stores the number that we give. The next, we give the codings so that we can store it. So we write integer, bracket, input, and bracket. Then you can write enter your number or enter the number. And then be careful of the two brackets, okay? Okay, so the next thing is you write result. Result or you can write factorial or anything. That's our answer, which is equal to 1. And then we give the if or else process. So here, right, if n is smaller than zero. So if our number is smaller than zero, then it should print invalid because um, there is nothing, uh, there is no factorial uh, with zero uh, numbers lesser than zero. So you just have to print invalid. Be careful of the uh, you know creation marks okay so it'll print invalid if the number is lesser than zero it'll print invalid like negative numbers now let's give the else format so inside the else format we are actually going to give the loop so loop is the four and i is just a variable um, for i in range, we'll just type for i in range, and then we give the start, end, and setup option. I think I told you guys this in the palindrome episode. If anyone wants to know more about that, I'll just put the link in the description box. So the start, end, and setup actually means about, you know, the numbers starting and the number ending and... Um, uh, how is the setup like here i'm giving n zero and nick minus one so n is the starting zero is the ending and minus one is the process uh, so if we want to get the factorial of four four should minus three and then multiply with it so um the loop is actually the multiplying process so that's the start and end set of process. Like I said, our number zero, 0 and negative 1 is over here as start and end setup. The next process is we just, you know, do the loop. So the loop is result is equal to result multiplied by i. Result multiplied by i. Be careful of the spellings, guys. Okay, so this is our loop process, and the next thing is you write print. When you write it, don't forget to write just below 4, because it's not in the loop process, but in the else process. So write print, and then write result. As we have to get the result, you just gotta write result. And then go save this. Just go over here and save it. And here I'm just going to give factorial.py. And then I'm going to save it as factorial.py. Then you can run it and see whether your codes are going right. Okay, so here I give the number 5. And 120 is the answer. It's absolutely right. Our answer is 120. As we check, we can see that 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 is equal to 120. 
And as we found out, the factorial of 4 is 24. 24 multiplied by 5 is equal to 120. And that makes our answer absolutely right. You can try it with more numbers and find out the factorials of those two. Um, the next thing is we have to check whether our negative numbers come right. I mean, like numbers lesser than 0, it should show invalid. Um, let's go and check whether it's coming like the numbers can be negative 1 for now I'm just going to give negative 1 and it's invalid. It's absolutely right So the negative numbers should always get invalid and uh, the positive numbers can always get you know their factorials So that's how it is um, You can try with more numbers and be really 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 careful with the codes guys it's really important because if you make one single mistake of even you know the placings your whole code can get you know destroyed or you just say it wouldn't work and you have to think about it again and again and again so I think it's better if you just check the code first and then go run it and be careful with the you know the negative and positive numbers because that's really important while finding factorials. Um, we could try with another number. You know, just keep trying on and on until, you know, you, you are really sure that your code is really working. So here I gave 6 and the answer is 720 and it's absolutely right too. Um, we could give another negative number to see it. I just closed that tab because it was full. And here I'm going to give negative 67. And it's invalid. It's so working. I'm so happy. So if you have any suggestions, doubts to ask, you can do all that in the comments below. And share your thoughts and ideas with me. Okay guys, so I hope this video was really useful with you. Thank you guys for watching and bye. By the way, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel.